Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to be talking about shared variables, properties, and methods. So let's go ahead and create a new project. We will select a Windows Forms application and we will call it shared and we'll go ahead and click OK. We'll wait for that to load and let's open up our form1.vb file. Now let's just go ahead and zoom in some and we'll create a class inside of here so that we don't have to create a, another file. So let's go ahead and make it public. So public class and we'll just call it person. So now what we want to do is make some public variables. So public p name as string and then public shared um, min age as let's make it an integer and we'll go ahead and set it equal to something let's set it equal to 16 so, so when we share it what this means is that no matter how many instances or objects a person we make min age is only going to be stored once and it's going to be shared throughout all of them so let's say we uh, if we didn't make it shared and we made a hundred person objects we would have a hundred copies of min age but because we make it shared no matter how many objects of person we create there's only going to be one instance of minimum age and if we just change it once then it's going to go ahead and change it throughout all of the classes so now what we can do um, is let's go ahead and come up here to the uh, form one load so when the form one loads, what we want to do is add that a bunch of people to a list box. So first we're going to need a list box. So we'll drag it over here and we will make it a little bit bigger. So we'll go ahead and create a for loop right here. So for int index as integer and we'll just go ahead and set it equal to uh, 50 or no. <clears throat> one two fifty what we want to do is create a new person object so dim new purse as new person and what we're going to do is we're going to set the name and the we're going to set the name of it and we're going to add it to an array list so let's come up here and we will type private purse array as new array list so now what we're going to do is we're going to set the name of that person. So let's just do new purse dot name or dot p name is going to be equal to, and we'll just do Sam, and we'll go ahead and add um, the current int index. So and int index. So it'll just give uh, the numbers of Sam. So whenever we, um, after we've set the name for the person, let's go ahead and add that person to the list. So purseArray.add, and then we'll do new person. So now we need to update the list box. So let's just call update list. Now we haven't created this yet, so let's come down here and create it. So we'll go right before this, or right after this sub. We will type private sub update list. Now what we want to do to update the list is type listbox1 dot items dot clear so we can get everything out of the list and now what we need to do is we need to add all of those users back to the uh, list box. So the way we're going to do this is type use a for each loop. So for each um, the person as person in our person array we're going to go ahead and add that to the uh, list box so list box one dot items dot add and we will add the person dot name and then we'll go ahead and add a space or we'll add minimum age and we'll add the person dot 
min age. And let's see here. Okay, hold on. Okay, so let's go ahead and just ignore this warning right here because it's going to work uh, either way. So let's come back over here to our form1.vb and let's add a um, a numeric up down picker. So we'll go ahead and set the um, the value that has been selected. So whenever the form one loads, we will go ahead and set um, numeric up down one dot uh, value, and we're going to set that equal to um, new purse dot min age. Now you can see we're going to get an error because new person is not initialized yet. So we'll just cut that and we will paste it right down here. Okay, so it's going to go ahead and set this to the um, automatic minimum age. Now let's go ahead and click the lightning bolt right here and whenever the value is changed, what we want to do is set uh, the value of minimum age. Now right here, I forgot to mention this, because it's shared, instead of typing new person, we'll just type person.minimumAge, and this will access um, all, person, uh, all person objects, uh, the minimum age in all of them. So we'll just type person, and what we want to do is set person dot min age equal to numeric up down one dot value. So whatever the value is in there, it's going to set the minimum age to that. And then after we do that, we want to update list. So uh, I messed up a couple times in here um, because I didn't really review this before I went to make this tutorial. But just remember that you use the whole class instead of the object of the class that you have. So let's go ahead and run this. And you can see here that we've got Sam all the way to 50 and it's got the minimum age is 16. Now you can see that when we update this, it's going to update all of them. It's going to set the minimum age equal to whatever you set it. And there's only one instance of minimum age. So we can keep changing this as much as we want, and it's only changing one value. Now, shared can also be applied to methods, functions, properties, pretty much anything that you, that you can put in a class can be uh, marked as shared so that only one copy is made. Um, so go ahead, practice a little bit with shared, and then once you've got that down, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial.